Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Congratulations on the news. That was made official here just about 30 minutes ago. So um, before we go to questions, tell us a little bit about um, just kind of the news that came out and then just your excitement leading into the weekend. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited to go race in the Cup Series. Finally, finally get my first Cup start. Better late than never, right? I'm 28 years old, so getting a little bit later jump on this, but uh, very excited for RCR giving me the opportunity, Bennett, United Rentals, you know, all of our partners that that make this happen. So really excited about it. Can't wait to get out there and just see what we can do. Our first goal is to just make all the laps and learn each and every lap throughout the race and try to take that going forward. All right. We will now get to questions for Austin. If you have one, raise your hand. We'll, we'll get to as many as we can in the time that we have. And to kick us off, we're going to go to Bob Potter. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, Austin, was Michigan, Was there something about Michigan that made it the right place for you to make your debut, whether for you or for the organization? Yeah, it just, it just kind of worked out that way. Um, you know, we obviously went – went and spoke to all of our partners and tried to figure out which race was going to be the best one to do. And we felt like Michigan was a, a good place for me to go run. It sort of fits my driving style, I feel like. And I've had success there in the past in the truck series. And, um, you know, hopefully I can kind of turn that around in the cup side. And, and you know, you want to make the most out of your first start. So we just figured – Michigan would be a, a good one for us. And do you have get any sense of it, if you're going to be evaluated for future cup rides, whether you think you'll be evaluated on like your performance more this weekend in the cup car versus what you're doing in the Xfinity series? Uh, I mean, I'm sure that there's going to be an evaluation done to see how, see how I do against all the cup regulars and, you know, where we stack up and things like that and, and how much we learn throughout the race. And that, I mean, that's the biggest thing for me is just learning throughout the race weekend and figuring out things that the guys on the, the cup side are doing, you know, maybe differently than, than what we do on the Xfinity side that I can maybe take forward on, on the Xfinity side. So I, I just, I honestly just think it's a, a good opportunity for me. I think it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and, it's finally all came together, and RCR has been a big, big reason for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to go to Cameron Richardson. Go ahead, Cameron. Hey, Austin, what's the most important thing that you want to learn in your Cup debut? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really good question. I, I think there's a lot of things that, that I can learn throughout the race. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'd say just how aggressive all the, the drivers are on the racetrack, you know, the moves that they make and and how they create passes and, and create runs and things like that. I think there's going to be a, a different view of, of, of what I've seen on the truck side and the Xfinity side, just how the cup, cup regulars approach you know, make, making passes and creating momentum and creating speed and things like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be able to get out on the racetrack with, with guys like Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, you know, Chase Elliott, you know, all those guys and, and just hopefully learn from them, see, see things that they're doing on the racetrack. I think that's going to be a real good opportunity for me to see what SMT shows and, you know, you can see your throttle trace, brake trace, uh, steering trace, all those different variables that you can see that you have at your disposal on the cup side. So I think that that's going to help me out a lot going forward in my career, being able to, to see all that data and, and be able to try to go out and, and put it forward. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Our next question will go to Claire B. Lane. Go ahead, Claire. Thank you. Austin, you were talking about you're sure you'll be evaluated as you, you know, take on this debut. 
But is that has that been spoken to you or is it just understood? Like, have you guys talked about anything or we're going to be watching you or do you feel like you just understand that? It's just something that I I feel like any time that someone gets the opportunity to run in the Cup Series, I feel like no matter who it is, I think that they're going to be evaluated. They're going to be viewed, you know, not just for, for the organization you're racing for, I think just for the whole garage. And they, they want to see what you can do on the cup side. So I think that that's just an understanding that, that all of us drivers have is that you're going to be evaluated. You're going to be looked at, see what you can do against the cup regulars and, you know, try to minimize the mistakes the best you can. And, and like I said before, just, just finish all the laps and, and see where you end up. And if that's 15th great, if that's 30th, you know, great too. We just need to go out there and, and run all the laps and learn, as much as we can. Uh, that way, if I do get the opportunity to go again, I can just take all that information in and retain all of it and, and put it forward uh, going to the next one if, if that opportunity present, presents itself. It might be an unfair question to ask you, but how ready do you think you are for this, right? And um, obviously, you, you wouldn't say yes, or maybe some people would if they didn't think they were ready. You've done a lot of great racing. You know, how ready do you think you are? And how much do you even know when you're a young driver, when you get the opportunity, whether you're ready or not until you do it, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that all of us drivers have, have confidence in your in yourself. You always have confidence in yourself and feel like with your ability that you can go out there and, and compete and run up front and things like that. So I have a lot of confidence in myself, but until I get out there and see where I stack up with, with all these cup regulars, I, I don't, you know, really know where I stack up yet, but, um, just, just getting the opportunity is, is a blessing in itself. And I think, you know, I've been racing since I was six years old and I'm 28 years old now. I, I feel like it's time. I don't, I don't feel like it's something where I'm a 18 year old jumping into a cup car and, 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 you know, you're, you're a young, young kid. I, I feel like I'm definitely more mature than most on that aspect of it. So hopefully the maturity level that I have can, can kind of take that forward onto the cup side. Really honest answer. Appreciate it. Good luck. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. All right. Our next question will go to Matthias. Go ahead, Matthias. Hello, Austin. Uh, my questions are two. Uh, what knowing that you win in track series in 2019 in Michigan, what what are your expectations in the Xfinity and debut uh, in the Cup Series in Michigan? Yeah, so on the Xfinity side, my expectation is to go win the race, and I feel like we can we can do that. I, I feel like our you know mile and a half super speedway style package that we've been running has been pretty good. Um, you know, Michigan kind of races like a mile and a half with a little bit of drafting and things like that at times. So hopefully it kind of correlates to what we've been doing throughout the season and we can go out there and run up front. And, and I think we're going to have a shot at, at winning the race in Michigan and Michigan, hopefully get our third win of the year on the extended side the cup side. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the, the only, the only thing that I, that I look forward to is, is trying to make all the laps. I, it's, it's hard to put into perspective on, you know, yeah, I'd love to run inside the top 15. I'd love to run inside the top 20 or top 10 or whatever, but um, just making all the laps and learning each and every lap of the race is, is my goal going into the cup side. And, you know, whatever that finish entails, then I'm going to be happy with it. What balance uh, do you make in the Xfinity this season? Say that one more time. What but what balance do you make in the Xfinity this season? So the Xfinity series, I mean, I you know, I, I've, it's been fun to run in the Xfinity series. I, I've had a blast just learning these cars. There's things I, I need to learn going forward. Still, um, you know, there's been races here lately where we start off and we're you know maybe not the best we can be, and then by the end of the race in stage three we get better, and then. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's something I'm doing with the car or something that 
that we have going on setup wise, but we, we seem to fall off on long runs here lately. Uh, same thing kind of applied on the on the road course this past weekend. Actually, we we got the car driving to where I liked it in stage three, drove all the way up to sixth, and then we just kind of fell off from there. And and when it falls off, it falls off fast. And you know, you go from having some speed and feeling like you're pretty good to all of a sudden you lose all that that pace. And you start getting really tight, and um, the swing and the, and the chassis and everything changes a lot. So that's something that we've been working on throughout the season and trying to get better at. And I'm just I'm enjoying the experience series. I'm having a blast driving these cars. They're so much so much more fun than, than on the truck side. What does it mean for you to run the car 33 of Richard Jeter Racing in NASCAR Cup? Yeah, I mean, uh, to, to be able to run in the Cup Series for Richard Childress Racing is, is huge for me and, and for my career. I think it's it's something that if any driver was able to get the opportunity to, to go do this for their first Cup start, they would jump on it, you know, right away. So um, I'm very humble about it, very, very excited about it. And, you know, I, I just cannot wait to be on the racetrack and, and see what we can we can do and, and see where we stack up. Thanks, Austin. Have a good, have a good weekend you. in Michigan. Appreciate it. All right. Our next question will go to Dustin. Go ahead, Dustin. Hey, Austin. I got two quick ones for you. Um, with Michigan, currently, is that just a one-off? That'll be the only one in the 33? Uh, yes. Yes. And then kind off Mateo's second question in the Xfinity Series, you're on a seven-race streak right now of top ten finishes. Uh, what improvements have you seen from Daytona to now? I, I think a lot of it's, you know, me and, and the crew chief and the team just figuring each other out a little bit better and knowing what I need throughout the race. Uh, you know, I feel like even if we start off in left field and, and we start off where we're way off in stage one, by the end of the race, we feel like we can get inside the top 10 and compete and, and have a shot at it. So that's what we've been doing. You know, you, you can sit back and, and look at all the stats uh, throughout the, the season and you can see where, you know, we might not have gotten very many stage points in stage one or two or maybe no stage points at all in stage one and two. And then next thing you know, you get into stage three and, and you have a shot at it and you start running inside the top 10. So we're just – we're running some clean races just – you know, trying to miss all the wrecks, all the, the melee that happens throughout the race and just trying to be there at the end and, and have a shot at it. And that's what we've been doing. We, we just we need to we need to fire off a little bit better on the start of the race. And I think if we can fire off just a little bit better and not have to throw so much at it in stage one and two, uh, I think that that would give us a lot better chance of running inside the top five and getting another win. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right, our next question will go to Mike Embry. Go ahead, Mike. Austin, uh, a longer race. Do you approach a longer race any differently? No, not really. I mean, I feel like with a longer race, you're able to work on the car that little bit longer, you know, get it that much better. And hopefully just it, it, it creates more uh, – areas for mistakes so you got to try to minimize the mistakes the best you can but if something happens early in the race you know that you have a long enough time to to get back up there and compete you know when you go to these truck races or even some of the Xfinity races they're so short that if you have an issue kind of early in the race it a lot of the times takes you out of the, the race so I feel like on the cup side you're you're at least able to rebound and if you are having issues at the start of the race, you can still salvage a good good finish out of it. So I look forward to that. Uh, preparation as far as me physically, mentally, and all that is is no different than how I approach uh, any other weekend on the Xfinity side with me running a double header. Obviously, I'll, I'll be hitting the hydration up a little bit more, things like that. But uh, I feel like going into this weekend, there's been a lot of simulator time and things like that that I've been preparing for and doing a lot of. So I'm just putting a lot of work into this and, and trying to make the most of it. Who's going to be the crew chief? So Jim Pullman will, will be our uh, crew chief, 
and haven't haven't worked with them before, but we've worked together a little bit in the in the simulator these past couple of weeks and and just bouncing ideas off each other, things I like and don't like, and things like that. And he's been obviously talking to my crew chief on the Xfinity side, Andy Street, about you know when I say X, Y, and Z, you know how how much freer do we need to to loosen the car up, or how much tighter do we need to go that way with us working together for the first time it's not such a uh you know issue trying to figure each other out and learn each other i think that it'll it'll help having andy uh be able to kind of lean on each other and and he can ask andy some questions and things like that of, of if i'm saying a certain thing what does that mean and, and what do we need to do to the car to make it better thanks good luck thank you all right, Claire, do you have another question? I'm good, thank you, thank no you. No problem, all right, Austin, that seems to be all the questions. Congratulations again on a great um, you know, week and, and what we know will be a great weekend for you as well.